My book is Drowned River, The Death and Rebirth of Glen Canyon on the Colorado. Photography by Mark Klett and Byron Wolfe and text by Rebecca Solnit. The book begins with a foreword of Elliot Porter's book, A Place No One Knows, Glen Canyon on the Colorado, which were photographs taken up to the point that the canyon had been filled and submerged by the Lake Powell Reservoir when the dam was built. Um, there are also included our written acknowledgments from the Sierra Club. Mark Klutz's other projects are similar to this in his theme of bringing history into his photographs, such as his project of recreating the images that were taken by artists um, such as Ansel Adams and Edward Moybridge and seeing the changes that occurred over time. In this book, Similar to Elliot Porter's, um, there's text included. Um, not on every page. Some pages have um, two images next to each other, but others have text. Um, the text written by Rebecca Solnit talks about the journey of this book, the changes that occurred each time they went back to photograph. Um, she talks a lot about Porter throughout the book. Um, and where he was in regards to where they are now, um, such as when he photographed physically the difference. There are also discussions of climate change, environmental efforts, and history. Um, she talks about how Lake Powell is failing due to climate change, heat, drought, and evaporation, which is allowing Glen Canyon to reappear. Parts that were once reservoir have turned into river again. The book also talks about solutions and options for the future. I really enjoy the feel of this book. It is quite large, so it is definitely one that needs to be looked at sitting at a table so you can read and look at the image more easily. Um, with that being said, I was not able to go through every single page. It could not be completed. Um, in the four minute parameter without completely rushing. Um, I think this book itself is important to the experience. It allows for me to slow down and look at the images next to each other and see the connections. It also adds to this feeling of the reality of the situation being photographed. I'm able to see small details in the images that I probably would have missed if scrolling on the computer. His sequences are very interesting. One common theme I noticed is placing an image rich with water next to one that is bone dry. It gives this connection to the climate change occurring, connections to Glen Canyon before, but also the stark differences in the environment present. There is also a use of texture and pattern in his connections. Many pages um, are paired with text as well. I feel the book functions as an education tool as well as a work of art, which after learning more about the work of Byron Wolf and Mark Klett, I see that this is much of their goal, to use photography to educate and to spark a dialogue. I really enjoyed this book and it opened my eyes to something I really had no knowledge of. Um, I was able to understand the history and the gravity of the situation.